everyone. Today is Friday, January 13th. Today is not Friday the 13th for me because yesterday was. So today should be a very, very good day. Um, one thing I wanted to show you is that my eyes are finally... Today both eyes are finally better. No redness. Um, no redness, no swelling. Um, if you missed it, I was having some weird reaction on my eyelids and that is why I never wear eyeshadow because I'm trying to get that allergic reaction or whatever it is to clear up and go away and then hopefully kind of nail down what it was that caused it. So finally both eyelids are clear and I'm just gonna try to keep them that way for at least the weekend and then maybe I can wear some eyeshadow next week. Second thing, which glasses do you guys like better because I don't know that I like the pink glasses that much. They're kind of too big for my face. Um, and then these are my old ones, and I feel like they are just kind of outdated. So tell me which ones you like better. Anyway, today is a half day at work. Um, half day at work, I will be headed to the gym at 1 o'clock, and I'm super excited to run because I feel like I haven't had a decent workout all week long for one reason or another, mostly medical, but today is my day. So I'm going to hopefully run three or four miles at lunch um, and then do 10 minutes on the rower and then I'll head home. So tonight we are headed out to dinner with some friends at Lucille's. I have already pre-tracked everything and what I have so far is a 30 smart point day, I think. So it's 30 or under, it's really close. So. If I can just stick with what I've already tracked, then today should be a great day. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I'm taking to work today. It's not as much as usual since it's only a half day. Okay, here's my breakfast today. I have uh, the egg dish called shakshuka here. It looks really gross when it's frozen, but it's good, I promise. And um, it tastes fine once it's thawed and heated up. So it's basically just an egg and then sort of a tomato-based stew or sauce with it. So that is two smart points. I am having muscle milk, which I haven't had almost all week. So I'm very happy to have this. It's going to be yummy. One smart point for the muscle milk. I could just chug this right now, but I won't. And then I'm going to have um, coffee with my three tablespoons of fat-free half and half. Um, ooh, this is not the fat free. Let me fix that. This is the fat free half and half. Whew, safe. So I'm having three tablespoons of this fat free half and half in my coffee for one smart point. So breakfast is four smart points. And then for lunch, I'm just going to have my one smart point wrap because I will probably have it in the car on the way home from work. So I have my one Smart Point Olay Extreme Wellness, one Craft Singles Fat Free for Zero, uh, one five slices of turkey breast for zero, some pickle relish, one teaspoon for zero, jalapeno mustard for zero, and sliced apple. So my total so far today uh, until lunch will be four five five smart points after i get home i will probably have an apple for a snack and then not eat anything else until our dinner tonight hi guys so look at this it's finally sunny outside it's finally not raining i'm finally going for a walk yay feels good to be outside without the pouring rain um, if you guys are new, this is not a hearing aid. That is actually my Bluetooth um, earbud so I can listen to videos and my audiobook at work. So, um, yeah, it's very cool. It is not a hearing aid. Anyway, so I am out for my first break of the day, which there's only going to be one break because we get to leave at one today. Um, work is pretty low-key because we only have half a day except for the fact that two of our contraband space heaters 
blew a big fuse and we got in trouble for that. So I'll be taking my contraband home today so that I'm not tempted. It's very cold in there though, but what do you do? Um, yeah, so that's it. Nothing new going on here. I do feel, I feel refreshed today and I feel like today's going to be a good on track day after last night. I don't know what happened last night. I should really review it and, you know, dissect my feelings and why did I eat so much after I ate? I don't feel like doing that. There are just times when, you know what, I just want to eat. I want to eat because it tastes good. I don't care about the points in that moment. And I just like get it out of my system and then it's done and and hopefully that's it. Hopefully that's all it was. So I don't feel bad about it. I don't feel bloated today, which is good. And I didn't step on the scale, so that's probably definitely a good thing. I'm trying to weigh only once a week, so it is probably a good thing I didn't weigh today. I am seriously looking forward to a good run at lunch because I haven't had a good run for days, days and days, so. I am looking forward to that. I will run at least four miles, maybe five if it feels good, and then do my 10 minutes on the rower. So that'll be nice and refreshing. And yeah, it's Friday, guys. Feeling great, having a great day. Gotta go back to work for just an hour and a half. Try to slam out some stuff. And then it's off for the rest of the day for a three-day weekend. So I hope you guys are having a great Friday as well. And I will touch base with you later. Bye. Okay, guys, as you can tell by my face, I had a very good workout, finally. I ran five miles, got my 13,000 steps. I started out at 6.3 miles an hour and I think I ended at 6.7 miles an hour. I did check my heart rate as I was going and I made sure it was pretty much right at my maximum heart rate the whole time. Um, so five miles down and then I also did 10 minutes on the rower. What did you do today, Eddie? I went to the happiest place on earth. How many steps did you get at the happiest place on earth? 9,300 and something. Awesome. Doing good. We're having an active day over here. Hope you guys are having a good day the as active well. Active day is pretty much over now. Active day is not yet over. Yep, it's over. We're going to have a food day now. Woohoo! Uh, 224 and the steps are going to stop. The steps stop and the food starts. Bring it on. It's time for the weekend. I hope you enjoyed that special time-lapse video of me playing hairdresser. I cut my bangs. Uh, that was completely inspired by M. Wilson of FitFam because I did my bangs. I, I curled my hair. Um, she totally taught me how to like section it and curl my hair. I did it the way she showed in her video previously. So I know that time lapse was super fast. I don't know how to slow it down, but this is kind of sort of my New Year's Eve hair, which I loved, but which I would never be able to do on a regular work day. Anyway, I figured I had time. Um, we're going out and I would see if I could do it again. I kind of sort of did it again with bangs. Anyway, so we are headed out to dinner with our friends. We are going to Lucille's Barbecue. I believe it's a chain, but it's not a big enough chain to be in the Weight Watchers app. So I am having, I always, always, 
try to look up the menu online to see what they have to offer before I go to a restaurant. Almost all restaurants nowadays will have a menu online to look at unless they're like a little tiny like mom and pop restaurant. So I looked up the menu online and I chose what I'm going to have. I'm going to have the smoked burnt ends salad. It's like the ends of the tri-tip. So, um, and the salad itself is only seven smart points. That's what I calculated based on all of the ingredients that they said were in the salad. I estimated the amounts of like say the black beans, the um, tortilla strips, the tri-tip. I estimated the amounts of everything that I think are going to be in the salad based on what they said from the menu options. So if, like say for example, I said there's three uh, ounces of tri-tip and I go to the restaurant and there are five ounces, then I will adjust accordingly. But based on my calculations from what I generally get at a restaurant and what they said was going to be in the salad, the salad alone is seven smart points and that's without dressing. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, I do find that lean beef is pretty okay on smart points. So it's, if you guys are afraid to have beef, I have beef all the time on Fridays. We usually do steak nights on Fridays. I have a lean sirloin and you can totally do that, a sirloin and baked potato within your smart points. So tonight is actually a tri-tip salad and that's totally in, within my smart points as well. I did have a couple of glasses of wine while I was doing my hair. Um, you probably didn't see that because the video was so fast. I don't know how to slow it down, so um, yeah. Anyway, um, so the salad itself will be seven smart points. I may have another glass or two of wine and I will try to take a photo of my salad at least. What are you having, Eddie? What are you having for dinner? Oh, I think I'm having Lucille's. He's going to Lucille's too. <clears throat> he is having tri-tip. Oh yeah. The tri-tip dinner. Oh, so we try to look at the menu because nowadays most restaurants are normally really dark and oh, we both true. are very old so we can't that's see true. so instead of pulling up our cell phone and taking pictures of the menu and zooming up on our picture on our cell phone we look at the menu before is it just us or do you guys notice that like all the restaurants are so dark nowadays and like when we were in new mexico we went to a restaurant with my parents who were in their um 60s and 80s <laughs> my mom is 60 something my dad is 80 something we went to a restaurant it was super dark and my poor dad could not read the menu we showed him how to use his smartphone to uh, turn the flashlight option on and then he could read the menu but it can't be just us right like is every restaurant nowadays like so dark I cannot read it I like to wear my contacts because I feel like I look better with contacts, but when I when I have my contacts in, it's like 10 times worse. I can't read the menu. It's terrible. So this is what we do for smart points purposes and for old people purposes. He can't read okay. either. Green light. So yeah. Anyway, we're going to Lucille's. Keep we're going to have fun with friends. It's oh, Friday. What am I getting again? You're getting the tri-tip. How great the traffic looks right now. Traffic looks like shit. Sorry. Let me just show you.
three hour wait. Tour. Not a three hour tour, a three hour wait. Three hours. Like what kind of restaurant, let alone a chain restaurant, is three hours for the wait. And we saw the people that were standing outside. It was not three hours worth of people. That's ridiculous. That was a lie. Not from the friend, but from Lucille's. Yeah, my friend was not lying about that. But whoever told her three hours, I wanted to go to Lucille's myself and check in also and see how long they told us because there's no way it could have been three hours. Like it's now three hours later and there was nobody waiting outside. That was not a three hour wait. Anyway, we didn't go to Lucille's so we ended up going to Red Robin which was okay but it's annoying to me because I had already looked at Lucille's menu. I chose what I wanted to eat. I had tracked it all. So Red Robin was okay. I had I had a salad that was not super exciting. I think it was called like a bonsai salad. It was it had some chicken teriyaki on it, some pineapple and mandarin, a few sliced almonds. I had no dressing, so it was definitely nothing exciting. I think I counted seven smart points for it. I also had eight smart points for the little mini garlic toast that came with it, which was croutons. also, they were little like croutons, yeah. It was very super unexciting. So eight smart points for the garlic toast, and then Eddie got some sort of prime rib sandwich, right? Yes. Eddie got a prime rib sandwich, which came with the unlimited fries, so I had like a serving and a half of fries, which I counted as one serving of fries because everything was like super tiny, like little portions, little pieces, tiny amounts of chicken. Everything was like minuscule dollhouse kind of servings. So I counted one serving for the french fries for four smart points. So. I think that was four smart points for the fries, eight smart points for the garlic toast, and I believe seven smart points for the chicken teriyaki salad. Very unexciting. I did have a couple glasses of wine, and I guess we had a lot of good conversation because we were there for about three hours, but I would not recommend. I think if I would go back to Red Robin, I went there previously and I had, I think it was like a grilled chicken burger with unlimited fruit salad. It was not too bad. It was for a lunch, but I was expecting it. Tonight I was not expecting to go there, not expecting to have the salad, which I think was really teeny tiny and not worth it. So I don't know. What did you think about your prime rib sandwich? Well, um, what I thought about my prime rib sandwich was I recently bought some uh, cheese type of bread bagels. Yeah, I had that last night with yeah, tons yeah, of cream yeah. cheese. Anyway, I yeah. had I have those bagels sitting at home. And I have, uh, from Christmas, I made a prime rib dinner. So, uh, since we weren't eating all the prime rib right away, I chopped it down to s small, thin slices of of roast beef so basically I could have had my meal that I had tonight at Red Robin at home and I could have made for zero dollars uh, yeah, zero points um, and it could have been zero dollars and I could have bought a head of green cabbage for a dollar and probably 50 cents for a red-headed cabbage chopped it down and I would have made my Asian my Asian style cabbage salad with the sesame marinade sauce that we bought the other night so that would have been just so my arm is getting tired what is your final verdict I'd rather go to Steak Corral or Chris and Pitts me too Red Robin 
Yeah, the food, I didn't add any salt, but I can tell that it's a little on the salty side. And I don't know where the salt came from because the roast beef wasn't very salty. The bread probably might have had a little bit of salt. The fries had no salt on them. And the cabbage had no salt. So it was just probably fast food. Junk. Junk. But it was good I conversation. It was good that we hadn't seen those guys in a couple of years. It was like good year. to go see my friends, but I agree with Eddie's um, assessment. Why are you doing <laughs> making faces? Why are you making faces? I'm not making faces. Anyway, yeah, not good. Like, I do like going out to eat for dinner, so I would probably rather go out to eat at a shitty but. restaurant. But, but, but. I would rather go out to eat at a shitty restaurant sometimes and eat their crap food and drink their crap wine than to make dinner. But. You went to make dinner anyway. On a weeknight. You went to make dinner anyway. Here's the thing Red Robin is a hamburger place and maybe, next time we'll have hamburgers maybe we should have what if it's a chain restaurant we should have no go and know we're gonna eat what they're gonna eat that their specialty is so burger and fries their fries aren't but very you would good. think they can they do only like give you, a solid they only decently. give you they only give you like maybe at most 20 fries there were not that many fries i had i had some of the steak fries they were good but each little basket, there there was not very many per like basket. I said, two so. baskets, twenty fries. Yeah. So not very happy with Red Robin. Next, Next time, time we, go, we go, we'll we go for lunch and we'll have burgers and we'll go with a gift card. So that was our night tonight. I'm probably gonna be over my thirty points that I had budgeted so well. My week of planning is so going down the damn tubes. But it's the weekend, so what do you expect? Yeah, but I planned so well. It's the weekend. The last couple days I sometimes planned for you 30 can't, sometimes you smart can't, point days. Sometimes you just can't I know. Deal sometimes with it. you just cannot prepare for what's coming at you. But Somebody once told me you Ugh. screw up one time, just get over it and keep on going. You do. You just get over it. You can't compound the mistake Don't by saying, oh, I'm going to go home. You know, I screwed up this meal. I'm going to go home and just eat more. I want to say that's what I did last night, but it wasn't really the same kind of circumstance. So last night I just really wanted to eat. Tonight. So should we stop at Wendy's? We're not stopping at Wendy's. You know, they have $5 uh, pizzas right there. We actually live a block away from Wendy's. And 7-Eleven. So there is that temptation like Little Caesars? daily, but honestly there's nothing at Wendy's that I want. Little Caesars. So. Anyway, we're going home. I will count up my total points for today. And I'll put it down in the below. Down below. And then I'll, she'll upload this video so everyone can watch it. I will upload the video, put my comments down below. I really need to adjust my points. I think I had some Maybe extra... tomorrow you shouldn't eat anything. I had some extra wine. I ate different than what I expected, so I'm going to have higher points than what I wanted. Should I run these but guys over? Thank God. Every week I say this. Thank God for fit points. And you know what? Before I started making these videos, I was literally in the negative with my weeklies and with my smart points I was using all of them so I feel like I'm in a better place at least I'm not going negative and using all of my fit points and all of my weeklies oh, that's good. I'm using all of my weeklies I am not using all of my fit points but tonight I am in fit points yes so Who I will gonna write an IOU? I will tally up all of my points and put them down below for tonight's dinner and check in with you guys tomorrow. What happens over that way? There... I think this way you can subscribe to my channel. I thought subscribe is up there in that corner. Thanks guys for watching.